Uh, our first mech. Oh, no. We don't have uh, EMPs. All Scythers. What are they doing while they're preparing? Scythers are psyching themselves up. for speaking binary. 10110101, brother. <laughs> the brother part's not. Is this it? 10100110, brother. Roger, roger. I really should do this. This might could this could like literally kill us, but I gotta know. Oh, I hope we don't lose anything important like arms. Oh, right, we still have stuff down there. Whoops. There goes our drums. I gotta go get an EMP after this. Is that Neanderthal just tanking Scythers? <laughs> what? <laughs> hey, leave that alone. Come die. Too stupid to die. Wow. I mean, he's pretty beat up, to be fair, but still. That's five Scythers. What? Six now. Way to go, visitor. Continue behind. It'll interrupt it. It'll interrupt it. I could have tended him while the other while the other one was coming up, but I was just too impressed. I was I was just in shock. Did you hear him? He made that like growl noise or whatever. It's an honorary dwarf. Man, if he wants to join, we might have to let him join. <laughs> like, uh, we are going to have to get into our power production. It's comment about him not being a threat because he only has a log. I know. I mean, yeah, <laughs> he's earned it if he wants to join. Legends recognized. Legends. He's a misogynist nudist. He's nimble. Ah, okay. That explains some of that. Gotta be nimble if you're going to be nude. You've heard of never nude. What about nimble nude? I gotta get someone out getting an EMP. I really wanted another joint event by now. Nimble Neanderthal, stuff of nightmares. Yeah, you guys, no friggin' joke. The Neanderthal is also tough and unstoppable. Yeah, he really would be unstoppable. Hope not. They're gonna be gone soon, so getting this long research done while they're here seems like a great idea. They're gonna leave in five hours. Oh no! None of them wanted to join. That research done. <laughs> Waited a little too long, I guess. Yeah, I know. I know we have the extraction. Yeah, I was kind of waiting until the high mate was up, but and they're gone. Oh no, it bugged. So this happens sometimes. We were asking if it's dangerous to dig to the edge of the map because raids can spawn there. Not, they can't if it's a red mountain. But now these have such a long path to, to leave that they are bugging. Uh, they might also be doing it because of this. There's there's two reasons. If this is the leader, that could be. We might end up doing this uh, as an escape area for enemies. You can always heal part of it later. It's dangerous, though, because if that's thin rock roof or something, we won't be able to uh, to ever fix it. Well, we got a lot of research done while they were here, so. Yeah, they can't find the exit because uh, this the single wide tunnel into a mountain really screws AI up a lot. So that's one of the big reasons of this right here. Higher mining skill, leave more chunks. It does, but the percent chance of it doing it isn't an extremely high amount. We actually were going through some stuff like that. So one of the things that we were looking at when I was making, I have a guide that is all recorded, just not out yet. Uh, anyway, that was about getting components because I'm asked that a whole lot, right? Getting components. And in that guide, I was trying to figure out, all right, how many more components do tunnelers get from mining through components than other ones? And how much does skill level matter for mining through components to other ones? And the percent difference is actually kind of kind of low. They usually don't have to worry about it too much, but... Combat supplier, okay. Wonder joins Lilith. This could be our mule. Let's hold on to that bolt action in case uh, we have her as a mule. All right, Lilith. Lilith is a baseliner and capable of social. That's really annoying. 
Really annoying. And our dwarves are bigoted too, so. Lilith, no dwarf. Mule can't trade, yeah. Yeah, I don't really want her. So we'll probably use her in combat. We could banish her. Our modest fellowship expands. Probably have her help mine Praise out some of the stuff. Actually, let's have her help haul stuff. If they have an EMP grenade, yeah, that's what I was going to check. EMP grenade and a smoke launcher, stuff like that. Very nice. There we go. Excellent, excellent. Got an EMP? Whatever. Our modest fellowship expands. Praise okay, the sun. so that's a red mountain, so we should be fine doing it like that. Should be fine. That will leave an escape route so that we don't have this bug happening. Want to get ready from there? No. You cannot get ready from the same tile as Overhead Mountain. No, we tested this in the Winston Waves run over and over. And yeah. Did Cassandra only attack once the last couple times? She's only rolled a double raid one time. It's interesting. To connect the other door folds. Right, we're making the deep roads. Making the deep roads. Not not a great thing to make, the deep roads. Whoa, what was that about? Lilith insulted Claw's muscles. Yeah, right, Lilith. Get out of here. Claw, let's look at you. Seven melee. Oh, oh. <laughs> Still. Do you even lift, bro? What do you say to me, non-dwarf? Insects are the dark spawn. Yeah. That works. That works perfectly. Perfectly. Yeah, you see how they're leaving now as soon as there was an extra opening? Second drone medium. They just left their friend behind. They did, yeah. Smoke leaf dependence, psychite addiction, <laughs> chemical damages, kidney. So apparently that's mined enough for now. So we'll just cancel the rest right now. Just make sure they stay. We'll have them stay inside right now. Can you paint unsmooth floor? I don't know. That's a good question. I, I don't know. You cannot paint unsmoothed. Unfortunately. Can you paint smoothed? Yes. All right. We're going to get this research done. And uh, then we'll work on some babies. But not that kind. Not the incest and incestuous dwarfs. No. An ancestral. Ancestral. Ancestrials. <laughs> hey, it worked for the ancient Romans. Uh, yeah, where are they these days? Anyway, those ancient Romans. I don't know. Whatever happened to those guys. The babies will be dwarves, yeah. Yeah, I was thinking about that earlier, actually. We were talking about it because someone had a tantrum and they destroyed a bunch of the food. And we were like, oh, man, if they destroyed the beer, it would be like a like an extinction-level event, like Armageddon, right? It was soul sap for you. You take ownership of your tantrum. So, yeah, I probably will end up having to do that. Yeah, I haven't grown a hop since 1.0. Like, I've literally not made beer in my games. I don't think it's... Sometime near 1.0. It's not the beer. Sanders definitely getting her uh, six traders in early this year. Look at that. Kim fuel mortars and beer storage room with straw flooring. <laughs> yeah. I might just go ahead and get the telescope, honestly. This is sacrilege selling that, though. I think I'm going to. Sacrilege. Yeah, I like the hydropower overall. I liked it better when heavy bridges were in the base game back before 1.0, before they removed them. But they're especially good if you have heavy bridges, yeah. Yeah, well, I, should, I shouldn't call it heavy bridges. So basically, for anyone that doesn't know, in the early, like, in, in beta of RimWorld, you were able to build stone walls on top of wooden bridges. You could build anything on top of wood bridges, and they changed it later on. So what you could do is you could actually make... Just wooden bridges around the water as you saw fit, and then you could just make stone on top of it, and enemies wouldn't like light it on fire or whatever, you know. So, um, but yeah, I overall I do like uh river maps. Rivers can be very good defensively as well. All right. So yeah, we're just surviving until this research is done, and then that's going to send our wealth up a bit, but that's all right. And then we'll work on getting some babies. Some babies. We're gonna have that high mate in seven days too. Why are they named High Mate? Because that's literally what they are. They're High Mate. They're for breeding purposes. We... Manhunter pack. Oh, geez. Yeah, I don't want to melee tank 19 boom rats. Cassandra's like, I'll burn your base down. All right, we're not going out there. Let's go take a look at what's going on outside. The noise, the noise, the noise. Who am I, the Grinch?
Research is almost done. All right, so when research is done, we are going to get the geothermal. We'll get the geothermal in. We'll get this stuff, switch over to electricity. So we'll get like an electric stove. We'll get electric lights and things like that. And then we are going to get our machining table down. We're going to make a production specialist and get a couple more shotguns. Uh, then work on getting some baby dwarves going. Oh, are we out of medicine completely? We are. All right, we got to the geothermal. Good job knocking out those. We're actually probably overcooking now too that the visitors left. So I'll turn this down to 14 ish. Requesting workers, borrow one colonist for six days. Okay, how's Dylan here? Uh, sorry, Dylan. <laughs> but he wasn't sorry. He wasn't sorry at all. DLC make the game harder with all the crazy new enemy races. It can make it harder or easier depending on what you do, which I think is a good thing, right? And there's a lot of RP type stuff with it. There's a lot of min maxing stuff with it. So there's, there's both sides, which I, I really like a lot. I do like that raids can have a variable uh, number of the new xenotypes and in, in fact, full different xenotype raids because it really does make you look at them a little bit different. So like right now, if we had an impid raid, I, it would be a little bit scarier, right? Because I it, right now I'm just doing close range. So impids, I'm gonna have to think about it a little bit differently. Or like ne Neanderthals, you see Neanderthals coming out. Oh, they're gonna be super friggin' tanky. Gotta be careful of those, you know? See, I do like that. Here's an impid right now. No one steals a dwarf's food. Get out of here. Yeah, that's true too. Waster raids in the mountain might be a real, real, real pain. So that was a wild impid yet. All right. The power is ours. Okay, so we're going to do that. We're going to make sure that we remove the roof area here. So remove the roof area over that. And Why remove roof? Because the geothermal produces a bunch of heat. And I don't want someone to come over there. I don't want anything to set on fire, but also don't want someone to come over there and, you know, go inside and get roasted. So I just remove the remove the roof so it doesn't hold the heat in. You can be able to vent. Uh, if you build a vent, then enemies can break it. Enemies will target a vent, but they won't target a wall. Slay everything without a beard. Beards and belts. That's right. Got another Dawi in the chat. And Rock and stone, rock and stone. What's a high mate? The high mate is one of the 10 new uh, factions or races, xenotypes, whatever you want to call them, added to the game. They're basically, they're basically like prostitutes. They're live-in prostitutes. That's true, yeah, concubine, I guess, is a, is a close way to put it. Designer wife. <laughs> Another manhunter. Two manhunters in a row. Dogs, okay. Cassandra with double manhunter. Okay. Right as those guys are leaving. How's it going, puppies? Yeah, I do wish... So I, I hope it's good either way, and I can overlook graphics in general in a game if it's good. So I really hope all games are good, obviously. But I did... When I watched the trailer for it, I was like, man, I wish they had made some kind of animation for the characters. I'm sure people will mod it and whatnot, but it was a little disappointing that the sprites are just, like, perfectly still and like move from tile to tile perfectly still. I know it's like, well, that's better than at symbols and number signs and it's called hashtags these days, Adam, hashtags. But but yeah, I was a little disappointed with the the uh, creator's art style choice, but pretty much mandatory for it. Well, this is a completely different door fortress. Yeah, this is completely, this is the new, the one they've been working on for whatever, forever. So I'm sure there will be animation mods for this new version as well. Right. Yeah, if you haven't seen the trailer for the December 6th new Dwarf Fortress, it is up on Steam. Three hives. Just don't really need this stuff. But the jelly, I can get jelly whenever I want. I can just drum for jelly. It's pretty far away. He's really far away. Charges. But they're not a dwarf. And we're extremely racist. And anyway, they would die way before we got there. Hey, the high mate is up. We have to get them converted, which is going to be pretty tough, I think. A relationship. Oh, no. Ape. You're not related to us. You're not a dwarf. Oh, they're related to the high mate. Sucks that they're 24 or 44. I don't know. They're going to be too very fertile. 
I can have them romance a high mate, but I just... What's their fertility rating? If only she was a dwarf. 3.3%. Jeez. That sucks. Not so sure they're gonna they're gonna be of much use in that regard. So, but they are good at trading. We'll probably go send them to trade. We've been wanting to do that for a little while, so we finally have someone that can do so. It's the name of a faction, yeah. They're uh, they're basically capable of violence, but make people really happy. They're pretty much always happy, and they make others really happy. All right, let's go. Uh, I mean, if she gets stopped by something, she's just dead. But oh well. It's kind of crazy. In the last run, I wasn't trying to get babies. We just had babies all the freaking time. And so we need some, but I need medicine. Then I can start implanting. <laughs> can you force romance now? You can force them to try for a romance. Yep. So we'll eventually do this the right way. But for now, we're just running it. And it'll be ugly. And Tynan will look at it and he'll be like, perfect. That's exactly what I had in mind. I like it when conduits are just everywhere. I like four wide conduits all over the base. Just everywhere. Box art. I can set them to get pregnant if they're in a relationship and it'll be four times the chance. But right now, because of her age, it's 3%. So four times three is still not great at 12. And the other ones are not in a relationship yet. So but I was hoping the free and approved would help with it all, but it hasn't. I mate in a few age reversal cycles. Uh, we're not, so we're not transhumanists, so age reversal will take a very long time. And we're not anywhere near there on research. We're just now getting to electricity because we are a tribal start. But I mean, eventually that might be a plausible option. But at the moment, it's it's not, you know. By the time we get age reversal, she'll have died of old age. <laughs> Execution precept is oddly effective at improving relationship between pawns. There's also an exploit. I don't know if it still exists, and I don't I don't think I'm gonna do it, but there's an exploit where you can do a role change. Well, I I, I guess this is for the social stat though, so it's a little bit different. You can do a role change and then cancel the role change before they're done to get a lot of social experience, and then maybe the social helps, but yeah, I don't know. Spears still affect them negatively? It doesn't seem to. Royals needing help. Uh a yeoman with seven core allies. Huh. It's a lot of food. I think I'm gonna do it. I don't see any real big downside as long as we get enough food going. Manlings in our hold for favor. Uh, let's see, sissy. Baseliner, 44 year olds. Baseliner. So I'll just take this and use it or sell it. All right. Holy crap, look at these guys. Uh, I guess we can pump out more research while they're here. So first off, let's just put them on research and we'll, then we'll go from there. Okay, that's fine. Uh, and then are any of them good at mining? You're good at mining. Uh, also, I want to set these guys to not be drinking our beer, so. Uh, no drugs. There we go. Dump the stuff off there. Do they have, they have a smoke launcher. Okay, can't afford it with her right now, but it's good to know that we can come back up here and grab one. If we want to, we'll just grab however many components that she can get. Bring her home. All right, production. Let's get our machine table down. And we'll get the electric stove. Power's going to go off every time a raid comes in and burns this, but oh well. Come back, machinery. Nice. Way to go. Prisoner, hemo farms for medicine and social. I was really surprised, Killeran. When we had a hemogen farm with someone with a passion in medical, they were getting 3,000 experience per extraction. It was it was really crazy. So yeah, it seems absolutely nuts for, uh, for medical gain, yeah. Okay, so I gotta decide who are we gonna make into our first production specialist. I have a level 12 crafter. If I make Soul Sapper into a production specialist, they no longer uh, do a lot of other things though. So we also have Tenurial, which, oh, man, it feels like I should make him into it for the long run. Like he's at a seven, so he's not gonna make as great of stuff, but we're not losing as much with Cl with Claw being the production specialist for crafting. They're also very neurotic though. I think I'm gonna make Soul Sapper into the crafting uh, specialist. Oops. All right. 
Soul Sapper becoming a rune smith. Way to go, Soul Sapper. Way to go. You're going to make all dwarves proud. All dwarves proud. Look at those runes flashing in the depths. Those are runes. Okay. So, we're going to make a chain shotgun. Wait, two of those. And we're going to drop it on the floor. And we're going to have Soul Sapper. All right, Soul Sapper. Let's get two of those. All right, let's go ahead and run this cable up the side here. There we go. Getting our first chain shotguns. Hoping for good. Soul Sapper, get it done. I need, I need at least this one done. Middle breaks during your raids. Just lost eight columns in a row. Right down after another. Biphasic schedule. Scheduling is a big part of keeping people happy. Guest unhappy. Use drug. Guy. I have you assigned for no drugs. Oh, no. No, they're all set for no drugs. He went and drank a beer before I could stop him, and he's upset about it. <laughs> it's my fault. It's my fault. Don't like drugs? Don't do drugs. Yeah. <laughs> It wasn't even like he was set on the schedule to, like, force them to do drugs either. He was just on the default, like, social drugs. He's like, ah, I was drinking beer. I'm going to get mad at you that I did it. Hey, excellent. All right. Our first chain shotgun. Nice. All right. Cassandra probably going to be attacking skin soon. Insulting spree. Oh, God. Come on, guy. It's bull crap. Can't defend myself from this guy. Fall down. <laughs> Stop bleeding all over the room and lay down. That one beer is really costing us yet. He gets us in a social fight with his own, his own ally. Manage drug policies. Select social drugs. Do not use them. There we go. Yeah, start making babies. Have we gotten any medicine yet? All right, we got we got some medicine a little bit. Let's see, 27, 22. All right, extract it. Hey, you get out of there. We got baby doors to make. All right, just hoping for the best. How goes it? Going all right. It's going all right. Choose a man to fertilize this. Oh crap. I forgot. <laughs> uh, yeah, don't fertilize that one. I don't want inbred dwarf. Stop it. Don't do the thing. Don't do it. All right, let's, let's wait a little bit. Because then the game warns you. It's like, uh, you're about to... You're about to commit incest. Are you sure you want to do this? Just just so you know what you're about to about to do. It's okay as long as you keep it in the family. <laughs> Tell that to the baby dwarves with three toes. Three toes on their face. Next run idea. All, all incest. I keep it in the family run. No. <laughs> What's path to the water for? It's eventually going to be to uh, get heat out of here. Right now, though, we're using it for a telescope. Rhino insulted Mep's grandparents. Maybe if your grandparents didn't suck, they wouldn't get insulted. You ever think about that? You should have chose better grandparents. You can't choose your grandparents. It's kind of weird watching me go over into the corner. <laughs> Just going over in the corner and I'm like, all right, let me deposit the seed here. It's like my dear old granny used to say, she was always saying this. I don't want the pool noodle on my nipples. I don't know what she and my grandpa were doing in the back room every time I heard that, but some things are better left unknown. I'm going to test it. We can always get more, right? Chance for the embryo. Only 6.2%. Our best bet is actually... We'll see what it is on a 27. Growing vet. Maybe. Maybe I should until they're three. Uh, growth vet. I have to get to microelectronics. Ugh. <sighs> Fellow sloth getting grenaded. <laughs> Love to see it. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go with it. Hopefully it goes all right. 
I'll get vampires this run? Probably not. I got a lot last run. All right. So we do need a little bit more steel. So we're going to work on getting this division here. Surgery failed. Oh, that sucks. So I guess it's just lost then, right? The ovum is gone. That sucks. Ah, we'll try again. It's the life of a dwarf, I guess. All right, we got enough steel to make our second chain shotgun. So we'll have three blockers, two shotguns. Should do fairly well. Hmm. I guess we'll get to go ahead and get to our microelectronics. Try to get to the growth vat. So. I smell awful in that room. Nah, it's fine. Doors have a very poor sense of smell. Boys, food is food situation is not good with all these people here. A raid. Tan Wheatley, unusually clever. Uh-oh. Thing is getting serious. Free EMP grade. All top is really not what we're wanting to see here. Alright. Nine pirates. Well, pirate goodies. Molotov up front. That's actually kind of good for us. Yeah, this melee block thing is going to be not great against like these. We're gonna get collision over there. Back to work. So Cassandra is active. Cassandra is active. We got another EMP, which is really nice. Too bad about this one. Uh, let's see here. Security. Let me turn it there. Okay, there we go. Got some medicine from that. Got a Molotov. Very nice. Very nice. New lovers. Claw and the high mate. Okay. She has a very low percent chance to be pregnant, but. Okay, Claw and the High Mate. Pregnancy, try for baby, 400%, which is still only going to be a 12%, but it is what it is. Is it baby chance boost? Right, 400% of 3% is still 12. So it's still not going to be a high one no matter what. High Mate said, it's breeding time. Guest is unhappy. We'll just stop being unhappy. <laughs> I'm like, if only it was that easy. If only it was that easy. Yeah, it's been a lot of fun so far. It's not too bad. Probably get hit with a Cassandra again. I don't know. She's only... Well, she hit us with a double there. We're at 30,000 wealth. You gotta be a little careful. Geo, those uh, those two shotguns and geothermal and stuff. How many colonists? Well, it, it really depends. So if you have a colonist that has nothing going on, they're just like baseline. Just, just baseline. I like to have three basins per colonist. That's, that's slightly overkill. But you can technically feed one colonist on simple meals with nothing else going on. If it gets harvested and planted immediately by a pawn and only made into simple meals, you can keep someone alive on two basins forever. And you know, it's not going to be perfectly planted on time every single time. It's like we're not running into any steel over here yet. Well, there's a bunch right here that we can mine down to. But we'll see what they find here first. So I, yeah, I like to do three basins because then you have a little wiggle room, a little extra bit by a bug or usually yesterday when they started allowing the fabricor to cook oh yeah i think it's already fixed but yeah for anyone that doesn't know for whatever reason they decided to let the fabricor cook food which is kind of weird i wish they just make a cook bot instead because all the other bots can only do their primary job right but fabricors can now cook but there was a bug when they first allowed this where every single thing that a fabricor cooked uh, or they had a hundred percent, I should say, they had a hundred percent chance to cause food poisoning. Uh, oh so Fabricor is like, ah, oh, yeah, we'll let them cook, but they're gonna make everyone sick. <laughs> Tantrum. Entombed underground. Well, just go outside. I'm not keeping. Like, look, you're zoned. Just go outside. <laughs> what a problem pond this is. Body. How's it my fault? 
He came to the colony as a visitor with body purist. Body purist. He shows up with an implant and he's mad and starts breaking stuff. How dare you give me this hearing aid? Starts punching things. It's like, how could you do this to me? He picks up a beer and drinks it. I'm not supposed to drink beer. It gets even worse. This freaking guy. He's just punching walls. It's not a drywall guy. You're gonna, it's gonna take some effort to get through those.